guys, welcome back to another one of our learning videos. I hope you had a good half term and managed to take a break and relax. So we're back to school and we are going to continue with our learning. So this week in literacy, we are looking at poetry. OK, so we're, we're looking at a different type of text today. As a starter, we're going to be looking at dictations. So that's where I'm going to say a sentence aloud and you're going to listen to it and copy it in your book or on your piece of paper. This is going to practice your listening skills, your sentence um, writing skills and also your spelling. OK, so go and grab a bit of paper, a notebook, and then we're going to start and I'm going to read out the sentences. There are going to be three sentences, okay? So just a quick thing as well. Remember to pause the video after I said the first sentence to give you time to write it. I will be saying each sentence twice so you can hear it and you have time to write it, okay? The first sentence is, the treasure is shiny. The treasure is shiny. Sentence number two is the children waited for lunch patiently. The children waited for lunch patiently. And the last sentence is my favourite colour is purple. My favourite colour is purple. Right, so I'm going to show you the sentences and what they should look like. Have a look if you've got them correct. The first one we've got, treasure is shiny. The next one, the children waited for lunch patiently. And the last one, my favourite colour is purple. Check you've written them correctly. Of course, we want to have lovely neat handwriting for starters. Check the spelling is correct and check that the structure of the sentence is also correct. If there's anything you got incorrect, have a think as to why you got it incorrect. Maybe you got one of the spellings wrong. If so, you can make that spelling a target spelling. OK. Right, moving on to our lesson today. So today we are going to be reading and understanding a poem. As I said, this week we are looking at poems. So today we're going to be doing a read lesson and the text that we're going to be focusing on is going to be a poem, okay? So let's look at today's text. I'm going to show you the text for today and we're going to read it together. Often when we do read lessons we don't read through the text together as that's your job as you are answering the questions but I thought as it's a poem and we haven't looked at poems actually yet I thought we could actually read the poem together and we can talk about it and we can see what we notice. So I'm going to put the poem up so here is the poem for today. We're going to read it together. Then we're going to talk about what we notice in the poem, okay? Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle, all of the sights of the hill and the plain, fly as thick as driving rain. And ever again, in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes. And there is the green for the stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. So that was our poem. I would like you, if we go back to our lesson slides, we've got the questions here. What do you notice? What do you notice about this poem? 
Hmm. I'm going to put the plan back on the screen and I would like you to pause the video and have a think about what you notice about this poem. So pause and have a think. Maybe you can notice maybe some features of the poem. A couple of things that you might have noticed about the poem is that it rhymes. We've got witches, ditches, battle, cattle, plain, rain, I, by, so those are just a couple of examples of how the poem rhymes. As you can see, the last word on each line rhymes with the last word in the line underneath. You might have noticed that the poem is split into little paragraphs. These are called stanzas and they're kind of like poetry paragraphs. I wonder if you can guess what this poem is about yet. Hmm, maybe you've got some ideas. Right. So to get our brains switched on today, we're going to have a game of fastest finger. So we know what this is. I'm going to show you a word and you're going to skim and scan for that word and try and find it in the text. So our first word to find today is the word load. So let's go back to our text. We're finding the word load. So skim and scan for the word load. You found the word? So the word load is here, just at the bottom. Great. Our next word that we're going to skim and scan for is the word thick, thick. So skimming and scanning for the word So the word thick is just here. Fly as thick as driving rain. Great. The last word we're going to skim and scan for is brambles. Brambles. So skimming and scanning for the word Brambles. The word brambles is just here. Super. So hopefully that has awakened us and um, made us ready to start our read questions. So I know we're all familiar with what happens in a read lesson. We do our read lessons every week. So if you feel confident to go and have a go at the questions using the poem text, then go and have a go right now. If not, if you would like to stick around, if you maybe want a bit of extra support, and if you want to go through two questions with me, then stick around because we're going to answer the first two questions together. There are two types of questions on DB Primary. There are these questions, which are what we, we're going to call the normal read questions, but I've also put on some easier read questions as well. Of course, you only have to do one set of questions. So choose the ones that you think are best suited to you. OK, so if you feel confident, go and have a go at the questions by yourself. That's great. If you want to do a couple with me, then stick around because we're going to do them now during this video. So, guys, if you decide to stick around with me, we are going to go through two questions together. OK, so the first question says, what is this poem about? So let's take a look at our text and see if we can decide what the poem's about. Because actually, it's quite a tricky one because it doesn't actually tell us in the text. So we need to infer and we need to use the information in the poem to kind of get an idea and a picture of what the poem is actually about. So I'm going to pick out some key bits of information and have a think in your head what the poem could be about. Hmm. So something that's faster than fairies, faster than witches. So it's something that moves quite fast. It charges along like troops in a battle. It goes through meadows of horses and cattle. So it's something that you might see going past a field 
or um, fields of horses. Painted stations whistle by. So again, something that might go past stations. Hmm. Right, I've got a bit of an idea. Also, it mentions the type of people that is, is related to maybe this thing. So here is a child who clambers and scrambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes. So maybe there would be a variety of people that are, that are linked to what the poem's about. Here is a cart. So something that has a cart. And here is a mill and there is a river. Hmm. So from the poem, we know that it's something that moves really, really fast. It might go through the fields or the meadows. If you're on it, you might see a mill or a river. It might have a variety of people on it, perhaps. Maybe it has a cart as well. And it might go past different stations. It says they whistle by, paint the stations whistle by. Have you got an idea of what this poem might be about? If you haven't got an idea already, I can tell you that this poem is about a train, okay? So we know the poem is about a train. So we would write the poem is about a train. If you managed to find the answer yourself and there was a particular part in the text that told you and made you think that it was about a train, you could include that in your answer. So for example, for me, I'm going to write the poem is about a train because the text says painted stations, painted stations whistle by. That's the part for me that I thought, oh, it's about to train. I know this. Right, great. Well done on having a go at the first one. Now we're going to do the second one together. What is the train faster than? So we're going to go back to our text and we need to find what the train is faster than. What word do you think we can skim and scan for in our question? We know that the word train is not actually mentioned in the poem because we had to work that out. So actually, we would skim and scan for the word faster. So let's go back to our text and see if we can find this word. So skimming and scanning for the word faster. So the word faster is here, faster than fairies and faster than witches. So that gives us our answer. And the train is faster than fairies and witches. As simple as that. So We've had a little practice together. So I would like you to go off and have a go by yourself now at answering the read questions. This is just the same as we would normally do in a read lesson. It's just, we're looking at poetry, okay? We might be unfamiliar with poems for now, but towards the end of the week, we will be a lot more confident with them, trust me. Okay, good luck with your work today, guys. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.